China's Premier Li Keqiang is making his first official visit to Serbia, the first by a Chinese Premier in 28 years. Li is scheduled to attend the third China Balkan Summit, where officials are expected to sign several major infrastructure deals that could lay the groundwork for much stronger strategic ties. CCTV's Roy Ruttenberg has this report from Belgrade. Four years ago, the Chinese chemical producer Wanhua acquired a nearly 100 percent share in its Hungarian rival Borsod Chem. The price, more than one and a half billion dollars, making it the largest ever single Chinese investment in Central and Eastern Europe. Wanhua bosses are now building an industrial park near the Hungarian facility, hoping to encourage other Chinese firms to join them. If uh, we just ask uh, some uh, individual Chinese company to invest here, it will be very difficult for them. But if we can get this Chinese uh, industrial cluster to invest here, it will create a lot of integration benefits. These types of ideas will be on the agenda as leaders from China and Central and Eastern Europe meet for their annual summit, this time in Belgrade. From our point of view, our expectations from the forthcoming meeting are high and realistic. We are hoping that new projects will be sealed, like for a new industrial zone here, where five or six Chinese companies already expressed serious interest for the high-speed railway and for even more efficient work on existing ongoing projects. A high-speed rail line linking Serbia and neighboring Hungary using Chinese trains like these may end up being the highlight of this year's summit. The deal is expected to be signed in Belgrade and would mark the first time China would build rail lines in Europe. Ahead of his arrival in Serbia for the gathering, the Chinese Premier Li Keqiang visiting Kazakhstan said such cooperation would benefit all sides, a win-win approach. Li Keqiang also said the rail line could serve as the foundation of an expanded China-Europe land-sea express line, reaching all the way south to the Greek port of Piraeus. But the plan would require a significant Chinese investment in Eastern Europe, the type that's already raised some eyebrows in Western Europe. Hungarian economist Agnes Sunomar says such concerns, mainly coming from Brussels, are unjustified. Almost 85 percent of Chinese investments to the EU uh, aims to, to the old European countries. So if they can have Chinese investments within their borders, I don't think that, that they, can, they can complain about uh, our policies and strategies. She says following Europe's economic crisis, it was natural for these countries to look towards China. Trade between China and the region is expected to top $60 billion this year, following meetings in Warsaw and Bucharest in the last two years that saw the foundation laid for a significant boost in investments. Leaders from the 17 countries participating here are hoping this year's summit can keep that momentum going. Rowie Ruttenberg, CCTV in Belgrade.